Hi, Coach Brett Clicking here. We're going to talk about our everyday flexibility routine. Now, this is just a shortened version of what we do with our athletes and everyday people every day to help increase their mobility and flexibility. First thing we want to do is get moving. So, I'm going to start with some jumping jacks. Now, this is sloppy jumping jacks. This is real jumping jacks. My arms are above my head. I'm bouncing off my feet. I'm moving. I'm going to hit 15 of those. And then I'm done, I'm going to open and close, just like that. These are called seal jacks. I'm going to feel my whole chest open up, come apart together. We're going to hit 15 of those. And I'm going to keep going, get my body warm before I stretch. Now, these are called gate swings. Watch. My legs go apart. I'm going to come down and push my legs apart. Again, these are called gate swings. When I'm at the bottom, I'm going to move side to side just a little bit while I keep my chest up together and apart. It's going to open up all these muscles in here that we notice have gotten pretty tight on a lot of our athletes, and everyday people, of course. I come apart and together. Now, just to get the body going, I'm gonna be on my left foot, just like this. I'm gonna reach forward, like so, and then I'm gonna come up. I'm gonna reach forward, keep my balance, just like that. I'm gonna hit eight of those, one leg, balance squats, and I'm gonna go to the other leg for eight. What this is doing, just getting my hips warmed up. Don't let your spine bend over, keep your chest up eight and eight. Now these are called reach squats. These are to get my hips warmed up for everything I want to do. So I'm going to start down to push up position. I'm going to step up with my left foot. Then I'm going to step up with my right foot. And before I go anywhere, I'm going to look up, reach up with my right hand, reach up with my left hand. Now I'm going to look up, look up, and then stand up. And if they're not hurting, you're not doing them right. So do about six of those. We'll do about six of those. Your heart's going to be ready to pound out of your chest. Then we're going to start here like this. Get my hips moving and mobile. I can do this. You can do this in your room. You don't need a whole lot of room. It's going to be here like this, bottom leg straight. These are in place Frankensteins, straight leg kicks. You go just like that. You can do these at home, and we have our athletes do them at home, or you can do them in at the gym. Now, some of our basic flexibility, starting from the standing, these are going to be step behind, just like this, lean and step behind. So my right leg is going to step behind my left, put my hands on my head. And I'm going to lean to my left. Now it's going to stretch everything from my lap all the way down to the whole side of my body. Don't bend forward. Lean. Then we're going to go to the other side. We're going to hold it for 20 seconds on each side. Step behind and lean. Now another trouble spot with a lot of, our, a lot of the people we work with is the hip flexors. Especially with athletes. Athletes tend to get tight hip flexors because they're beating them up all the time. So I'm going to come down my knee. I'm going to tighten up whatever knee is on the ground. I'm going to tighten up that butt cheek, my glute. Make it nice and tight. I'm going to try to take my hips and tilt them underneath my body. You're going to feel a pretty intense stretch. Then first I'm going to come up like I'm going to throw a javelin. So I'm leaning back. You can feel that stretch. It's like I'm throwing a javelin. I'll hold that for about 20 seconds. I'm going to rest. And now I'm going to lean across my body. Come up and across just like that. Squeeze in that glute the whole time. Stretch out those hip flexors, 20 seconds. Then I'm gonna go to the other side and do the same thing. Now we got those hips, I'm gonna move to the in, inner thigh piece. Now we've already gotten that before in our gait swings, but now we're gonna get that in a different stretch. So I'm gonna come down here, I'm gonna kneel with my palm on the ground, and I'm gonna reach through and rotate all the way up. Now depending on your level, you can come down and bring your knee off the ground. Rotate down rotate up. I'm going to go ahead and tell you to start with your knee on the ground and move up from there. You can see my flexibility is not that great. So I'm going to come down, reach up like that. I'm going to go eight to each side. Now for the glutes. When your glutes get tight, it's hard for your hips to move anywhere. If your hips don't move anywhere, you're going to have trouble on the field or just in everyday life. Your back's going to hurt. You're going to be a mess. So we're going to start down here like this on all fours. I'm going to drop my right leg at an angle. So again, watch. All fours. Drop my right leg at an angle, sit down, I'm going to think about getting this hip towards the ground. And always when you're stretching, breathe. Don't hold your breath and get all tight. Relax. You've got to convince your body it's okay to go into all these different positions. I'm going to sit down, 20 seconds. Again, this is called the pigeon pose. And I'm going to go to the other side. Sit it down and back for 20 seconds. Now for the calves and hamstrings to get very tight on people. If your calves and hamstrings are tight, you're going to have trouble with a lot of different things. So it's called a downward dog. Now I'm not a yogi, so if you're a person that does a lot of yoga, don't get mad at me if these aren't perfect. But my hand's going to be here. 
I'm going to lift my hips up in the air. I'm going to push my heels down towards the ground. Notice I'm not bending my legs. I'm also not turning upside down either. My back is pretty flat, pushing my heels down, heads in between my hands. And you should feel a stretch right up the back of your legs. Again, for 20 seconds. Now, last and definitely not least, I'd probably say one of the number one problems we have with people, athletes, everybody, is ankles that are bad. Poor ankle mobility. Now, I'm going to use an angle board here, but at your home, you can use a curb, you can use a book, you can use anything that's going to lift up your foot. So I'm going to put my foot here and just bend my knee. Just bend it over my big toe, bring my knee back over my pinky toe, come back again on the inside of my big toe. I'm going to hold it for about 10 seconds each one of those positions. Just keep moving around. Because if your ankles don't work, your ankles are designed to take a lot of little bumps and moves. If though your ankles don't work, that's going to go to your knees, your hips, not good. So do these every single day. Before you work out, after you work out, you're going to increase that mobility, flexibility. You'll increase your performance. You'll dominate your game. So, again, this is Coach Brett Klicka. Thanks a lot for coming out today. Work hard.